Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showroom. And Susan posted in one of our forums, my flash is giving me a hard time when it comes to being recognized by the camera. Well, it all depends, Susan, on the type of flash that you're working with. Here I happen to have a Rebel T6i. This is one of the newer itinerations, but it'll work the same way with any of the Rebel or EOS cameras that are out there. Of course, if you choose a dedicated flash, like here I have the original Canon 600EX RT or the Altura Photo ETTL strobe for Canon, these are what are called dedicated flashes. Why? Because they have the correct amount of contacts so that they make an electronic signal with the camera and the camera knows that there is at this point a flash on the camera. So all you have to do, and remember, the mounting on this is simple, it's just straight on. You never want to twist it side to side. So even if I have the camera, now it's activated, and I have it set to TTL. This is one of the more popular modes out there today. So I have it set to TTL, and the camera is on full program. The camera knows exactly that the flash is on here and will do all the settings for me automatically. So I can shoot even on full program mode and the camera will control the flash automatically for me. Turn it off, turn off the strobe. Always do that when you go to remove strobes from the camera. You don't want to cause an electrical short. I'm going to put this guy back onto the little stand and I'm gonna try obviously the same thing is going to occur with the original manufacturer strobe. Of course, you have to make a decision on how much money you wanna spend on your strobe. If you really are into photography and you're a, a confirmed user of strobe flashes, sometimes you might wanna make the investment into something this expensive. But notice how this, again, works the same way, fully automatic. I don't even have to take it off a of program. It does all the settings for me automatically. Turn everything off. And now we're going to go into what is called a fully manual flash. This is the Altura Photo SLR, digital SLR strobe. This is meant for photographers that want to save a lot of money and don't want to worry about having everything set on automatic because maybe you're used to working on manual or you're just learning and this is the perfect way to learn. You're not going to be able to have your camera set on any of the auto modes. Honestly, to be able to work properly with a manual flash, your camera should be set on manual. Don't worry about the focus. The focus is still automatic. But now when you activate this, of course, if you have it on auto, the camera is not even going to recognize that your strobe is on here because this only has one contact. If you notice, and this is the way it was way back in the days, early, early film, you only have one contact. That is to make the electrical contact with the camera when you set the correct shutter speed. So that means that most of the universal strobes like this Altura will synchronize with your camera anywhere between 160 and 1 200th of a second. So you actually have to set that on your camera. So that means that you have to set your shutter speed to 1 60th of a second or higher if you want to stop action better. And then you also have to set your exposure because the flash is not going to synchronize with the camera when it comes to the exposure. So back here, you're going to have to set the amount of power ratio you want to work with because if not, the flash will fire, but it will overexpose your image if you don't set the correct aperture. Of course, way back in the day, we all walked around with flash meters, so we knew exactly what to set it at. Now we've become more used to the automation of today's advanced digital cameras. So this one is going to make you do a little bit more work, but believe me, the satisfaction that you'll get from being able to now work with an external flash source as opposed to the built-in one, it's really worth it. If you like this video, remember to click the like button underneath and subscribe to our channel. Happy shooting.